challenge for a rep, I think it is, well, number one, outside of just building rapport with that customer, I think it's really important that you need to go into a discovery call and make sure that you have your research done. You need to know about the company. You need to know about the person that you're talking to and the reason why you're actually having the conversation. If you had a discovery call, that means that there was some prior step um, in, in order to get that call. So we need to make sure that we're setting the table and understanding exactly what it is that that why we're having this call and make sure that it's crystal clear on the pain that they're trying to solve or the area that they're trying to improve. And then make sure that every single thing that we do throughout the course of the call, we're always tying, we are always tying it back to that pain. And I think it's really know very deeply about what that pain is. And if we could align to that pain very well, then that's going to help us when you hear that one pain point and you want to jump right into the demo and show them how you could solve that. Right. Um, so I don't have a great example of just one specific scenario of that, but it's happened time to time again, where, you know, where you just, you get those happy ears as a sales rep. And it's typically when you're a younger sales rep as well, where you're saying, <laughs> Oh man, I need to take a step back. I need to relax here. Um, let's not just chase after that pain point. Let's dive into that pain point instead of trying to run after it. Asking that second or third question is going to be essential. So the thing I love, I mean, number one, it's just really a goal and mission of mine to get more people to, to, to go to the sales profession and really flip the script on how sales professionals are looked at. Yeah, yeah, there's sales reps and there's sales professionals. Um, there's a lot of people that think of like the used car saleswoman or salesman who is a shifty, shady person just trying to do whatever it takes to get their quota done. Um, but I'm interested in what I love most about sales is how, truly helping people solve problems that are going to help them with their job. In the